Completing a crossing of Puget Sound from Edmonds to Kingston, a Washington State ferry revs its powerful engines to bring the vessel to a gentle stop at the slip. The energy required to slow the huge vessel's momentum is dramatically apparent in the roiling water on the surface. But what about the potential long-term effects of this prop wash phenomenon underwater? As Washington State Ferries came to APL and to the Department of Civil Environmental Engineering at the university... And, Jim Thompson uh, of the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington leads this team in collaboration with UW Civil and Environmental Engineering. At some of the piers, there, uh, there's some erosion happening. And one idea for what's causing it is the propeller wash, the turbulence that comes off the vessels as they come in. The turbulence at Kingston occurs repeatedly, two dozen times a day. The challenge for the APL team, capture an accurate picture of prop wash beneath the water's surface. We're using a series of Doppler sonar instruments, some of them that are making measurements over a bigger scale and some of them that are making really fine point measurements. And the objective is to map out the, the structure of the prop wash, of the whole wake, to know how big it is, how far it extends. This instrument will be deployed along one of the pilings. This instrument uses pulses of sound, it uses sonar to measure turbulence. This will be mounted uh, along a piling, looking down, measuring the turbulence that's about here, away from the sensor head. And it'll also be measuring the distance to the seabed. And so we'll be able to see over time when turbulence is occurring and whether the elevation of the seabed is changing. Doppler profilers are installed at depths of five meters and one meter above the seabed to provide complete coverage of the prop wash turbulence. So this is the face of one of these transducers and it's gonna measure velocity and turbulence. Um, each of these is a transducer uh, beam and so you get a beam of sonar energy that's coming out of here and then uh, it reflects off particles in the water and is received back at the instrument and the, the Doppler shift of the reflected sound energy coming back is what the instrument uses to determine the velocity at each different point some distance away from the sensor. And so you get a velocity measurement from each of these five beams. So what we'll end up with is a complicated geometry problem of stitching together all of these different instruments that project these sonar beams throughout the area we're trying to measure. What we'd really like to do is have something that's useful in a prescriptive way going forward so that we can help the Washington State Ferries come up with a set of guidelines and best practices for uh, how to prevent erosion at their terminals. Within a few months we should have some answers. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.